Oh, wait, run, 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 run. <laughs> Wrong way. I don't think you want to be there, mate. Great big worm, big lob worm. Come on, mate. You're safe there. Just give me a minute, make sure he's okay. So, right, literally as we're coming through the gate. Okay, he's dropped a calf. Hello, darling. Right, you dropped it right in the poo, haven't you? Right. Well, at least she's done it now. She's been messing around for the last hour. I wanted to go down and uh, give him a fresh bed this morning, but she was at it and she refused to go in a pen. So, right, just to make life complicated, we'll come back to that in a minute. Did I mention it rained again last night? <laughs> Throw it back. Oh, you threw that like a girl. <laughs> right, calves. Okay, so we're just going to leave her to it for a minute. I am going to have to go back in there and do the bedding. But that's made that a lot, lot more difficult now. A lot more difficult. Oh, look at the state of it. The water running down through here. This comes off the road. Uh, there's drains blocked up out there, and it all ends up coming out through the yard, making all that really, really wet. So I need to put a pipe down there. The problem is I'm putting a pipe in to drain the public highway. Grinds a bit. What's up? Are you taking the piss? You are, aren't you? <laughs> We're here, Jerry's there. Yeah, okay, very funny. You can see it all flowing down through here as well, can't you? <laughs> Squirt right up your leg, that did. Hey, you on a mission there, missus? The wet is pushing the worms up. No, the, well, the worms got to come up because they got to breathe. So it's pushing the worms up, and they're eating all my worms. <laughs> yeah, there's a river going down through there, look. Look at this. Or oh, it's very nearly a river. All right. Well, you're not going to get any fish in it, maybe, but. Well, if he was a worm, that would be a river. Oh, I've not seen it like this out here for a while. Well, that's killing the grass under there. Oh. Well, at least that drain's picking up some of it. Some of it's going underground. There's a pipe that goes over there. I think what we might have to do is have a dig out here in the summer and put like a soak away in there or something under the fence just to get rid of this water. I think this is going to be a regular thing now, you know, every year waterlogged. Right, I can't finish the walk with Mrs. P because Val's just rung me. She's on her way down to bring her sheep in. She's rung me to see if I can volunteer, help her get them up. It is too wet for my ear now, so. so my job is get behind them. Uh, 
We've already got two lambs. They were born last weekend. But there's a couple others there. Look about ready to pop. So yeah, a good call taking about, I think. Lambs might struggle going through there a little bit. Go on up. Go on, Mum. There's always one awkward bugger. Always. Actually, with sheep, there's quite regularly a lot of awkward buggers. Go on, Mum. Up you go. Should be reasonably straightforward from here. I thought there was one with a water bag out there for a second. It's not. Right. My gateways will have a bit of a chance to uh, recover now. The ground won't mind a rest. Sheep have done their job, they chewed the grass off, got it down nice and tight, ready for this year's growing season. So, yeah, it's kind of chewed it off, fertilised it and harrowed it a little bit. All I've got to do is maybe harrow it a bit more, maybe slit it, rake it, roll it, and then watch grass grow. Go on, Wood Ned. Yeah, I'm watching you. Go on, Mum, here you go. That's all right, that's got him. They're not escaping now. Done. Yeah. You out, there. That's all right. Don't worry. Thanks, no worries. Job done. Oh, babies. Is that familiar smell of wet sheep coming up there? <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. Yes. No worries. Well, it's a bit, well, some of them are fit to pop, aren't they? Well, there's a couple there. That's why we're going gentle with them. There's a couple ready to go. So, yeah. Okay, okay. No worries. Closer I get. All right, sweetheart. I'm not going to get between you and your baby. I just want to clean the floor. So, what do you reckon? Do you reckon I can dive in there, grab it, and pull it in, or is she going to have me? Which is quite possible. Beautiful baby. Yes, it is. He, she, whatever it is. Beautiful. Run, 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 run. It's all right. Don't worry. I'm still alive. That's it. Actually, she was pretty good. I just wasn't really willing to hedge my bets. I couldn't make my mind up on her mood. So, right. Let's get and refresh this bed. This side's more important than that. That bucket will be in there, on the floor, in pieces. Make 
that water I paid for. That's it, we're finding a few bits of lump now. We're down to the nitty gritty. Or the nitty shippy. You know. That's 99.9998% 99 of it gone. Let's have a bit in here, shall we? My hand is forced. Go on. Behave. No. You little bugger. Go on. Get out. Out! Get out. No. Get out. I asked for that, did I put that bit in there? Get out. Go on. Out. Get out. <laughs> right, okay. Get your head round. Yeah! No! 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 Right, out! Get out! Out! Get out! 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 That was close. Get your head round. Oh, I've got to find that bloody chain. Oh, where'd it go? <coughs> Back up. Back up. Move your ass, fatty. All right, I've lost the spring off that bloody hook now. Bugger. Is it in there? I'm never going to find that, am I? Damn. afternoon. So if it is like completely cocked up breaking this bail up, I'm now forced to do it this morning. So such is Right, another 20 minutes. 
I can fill her a bucket up. Yeah, I thought that might be the case. We are getting a bit full here. This is definitely going to be a job for next week. Lower the floor level. Or weld on some more gate hinges. That's a second option. Come on, shift your horses. Now you have to get out from behind there. Out, back it up. Go on, backwards, that's reverse. Find the R. R for reverse, go on. There you go, Willigans. That's you for today. Fed and bedded. We'll scratch the yard out later on this afternoon. But obviously, I've got this afternoon's live at four o'clock. So if any of you wonder why Sunday the 17th live is a short one, it's only members today. Um, so it won't affect everybody. It's because I've got to get everything in here done ready for half past eight tomorrow morning for our um, assertion visit from the vets. And of course her having that calf has complicated things. Is it stinging a little bit? It might be stinging a little bit. So I've just given her an evil, a good squirt of iodine. And I think it's just, it's just smarting a bit, but I don't want any more calves dying from um, coccidiosis or something nasty getting in through their, through their navel. So yeah, iodine. It'll dry it up and kill off any bugs. I think mum's a bit tired. Although she's also still quite a big shape. So, mm, might just be my imagination. Anyway, she's okay. I've given her some uh, fresh grub. She's got some water. Everybody else has got a clean bed, including that lot, which I hadn't intended to do. So it is Sunday. I have still got time to go over and see my dad for the Sunday morning pilgrimage. And then this afternoon, it'll be back. <coughs> muck out that yard in there, muck out that yard down there, probably some fresh bedding in there, um, muck out the yard down there as well, so yeah, plenty to do this afternoon. It's going to be a lot of skid steer stuff, a lot of muck as usual, uh, especially with all the rain. Don't lick it, it's all you're doing. Thumbs in there licking in that, yeah. Come on, Mum, get up. I want, a, I want some breakfast. So, I don't think calf has had a feed yet, but uh, there's still plenty of time. So, hopefully, she's moved from that spot by the time I get back. She's happy talking to him. I think she's just a bit tired for a minute. So, you don't lick that. It's iodine. Nasty. Little hooligans, eh? Soon to be bigger hooligans. And yeah. Right, please don't poo in the water. All right? Don't. Watching you. That's it. We're done. Uh, been to see my dad. Come home, happy lunch. Put my feet up for half an hour. The missus took the dogs for a second walk today with my uh, daughter and granddaughter. Abby and Henry have just turned up, so it's going to be mayhem at the house that's going to be nine dogs at there now tearing up my lawn let's say it is 10 to 3 so we are done well in time <coughs> for this afternoon's live uh, the only thing i haven't done is scrape at that bit of yard in there i'm not going to worry about that today um, they're quite happy quite content i can do that tomorrow morning before the vet comes so if anybody's wondering what's going on tonight, basically new rules and regulations came out in uh, December last year. They were then kind of postponed until April, I think it's April this year. But basically if you keep livestock and you either take them to slaughter or take them to market or anything like that, 
If there is any chance of any part of that animal ever travelling to anywhere in the EU, you have to have an, attest an attestation certificate from your veterinary practice to say that you had a, you've had a proper foreign visit, that the animals have been checked for health, um, disease, transferable diseases, notifiable diseases, anything like that. Basically, you've got a bit of paper to say that the vet's been out and done a thorough inspection of your animals. That includes taking samples like blood tests. We've already done um, dung tests. I don't know, she might take some more of them as well. This is my first one, I've never done this before. Um, so not every single farmer has to do this. If you're uh, a bigger like dairy farmer and you red tractor and all that sort of stuff, if you're a red tractor, I think it's maybe, I don't know if it's Soil Association approved, um, uh, RSPCA inspected or whatever else, all, all that sort of thing, that kind of works for the same thing. But for me, having the vets come out and actually take samples and give me results of what they have or haven't found is, is probably more valuable to me. Not only that, if I do it through my vets, I can get a grant from the government for doing it. Um, so it all goes for if you keep sheep. I think if you keep more than five sheep, you have to do this. And if you keep more than so many cattle, I think you have to do it anyway. But if you've got more than, I think it's more than 11, the government will give you some money towards, um, towards the process. So pigs, sheep, uh, cattle, basically any livestock on the farm, you now have to have an attestation certificate from your vet or be Red Tractor approved or Soil Association or RSPCA or tick one of those boxes uh, because if you don't have that bit of paper, you won't be able to take your animals to market. Uh, the slaughterhouse won't accept them in. Basically, yeah, you're stuck with them. So you kind of have to do it. Unless you've got an animal you're keeping for a pet and it's never going to slaughter. Yeah, I expect even then, I expect you still got to have it. But oh, Right, so anyway, they're done. These guys are done. I'm going to give her a bit more grub in a minute because she's polished that off and check her water. So she's okay. They're all quite happy in there. Just in the yard. So we'll shut the one gate, open the second gate, and they can come back out and have some grub. Which means they can fill themselves up with that. And then empty themselves out in the shed overnight. So when the vet comes tomorrow, it's all nice and dirty again. Thing is, they're coming out past eight. I won't have time to do it. I won't have time to do it. The idea originally was uh, my um, visit wasn't until tomorrow afternoon, so I had plenty of time to do this tomorrow morning. But um, something to do. I think the vet hurt her hand or something, and she's something. Anyway, something's changed round, and they've asked if they could do it at half past eight tomorrow morning. So it means I got to do all these jobs today. But anyway, we're kind of done. Bottom yard's been cleaned out as best I can. It's very wet. They got a bale down there. They got plenty for today in there. They've got plenty. Everybody's clean. Everybody has a clean bed to lie on. So literally all I've got to do now is check her water, give her, well, I'll probably take a bit out of there or a bit out of there, give her a bit more grub and that's it. I've then got half an hour or so, put my feet up before I before I get my tablet out and go live. It's going to be a short one today. It is going to be a short one today, so... Right, okay. Let's crack on. Right, that's that done. What a sweet little calf. Hey, eh? Aren't you beautiful? Yeah, I'm proud of me too. You're a beautiful baby. Yeah, I'm not going to touch it. I'm just looking to see if we see any cleansings in here. She should have cleansed by now, but I can't actually see. Have you eaten it? You disgusting creature. Yeah. We'll have to come down and have a poke about in here and see if we can find it. Gotta be in here somewhere or she's eaten it. So, one or the other.
Right. Food, water, baby. Happy days. All right, you haven't got to get up for me. No, I was, look, I'm just leaving. You haven't got to get up for me. All right, if you insist. It's Sunday. Yeah, I've done more today than I intended. I was going to do most of this tomorrow, but I couldn't, so I've done it today. That's just the way it is. Why have I... Time sensitive. Oh, there you go. Attestation visit. That's the time it was supposed to be at three o'clock. That's me reminder. So 24 hours before. So it's not three o'clock, it's half past eight. So anyway, um, I might video this visit and test tomorrow. I know Inez doesn't mind being on camera, but I think she's got an assistant. So that will depend on whether the assistant minds being on camera or not. If, if he or she doesn't, then I won't video it. But I will tell you all about it afterwards if I can't. All right? See you tomorrow.